Yo Yetis, welcome to Monday and welcome to week 21 of learning. I hope everyone had a great weekend, got some rest, found some joy, and is ready to work hard on this five-day week. All right, so what is happening this week? So remember, tomorrow is an early release. Make sure that you are arranging that ride to be here no later than 1.40 so that, that you are not on campus thereafter. Um, secondly, we are so close but not quite there yet to offer our new community connections. So it won't start this Thursday. It'll start next Thursday, February 3rd. And we will be sending you guys all kinds of information to make sure you know which teacher, which room number, and if they're offering study halls or maybe an enrichment. Oh, there's my dog. She must see somebody outside. All right, guys, basketball information. We have um, two away games uh, for both boys and girls. The first one is today away against Kepner, and that will be at the Boys and Girls Club. Unfortunately, no spectators allowed at that location. And then your second away game will be at uh, Coons Miller Academy, and unfortunately, no spectators allowed there. So make sure that your families do know that you will be away but unfortunately they will not be able to watch those games. We'll be with you guys in spirit. I hope you guys have so much fun. All right, let's get rid of Miss Sarah's face for this one. Again, for every Tuesday, we have that early dismissal. Um, make sure that you guys have a ride promptly arriving at 140 um, so that you can get home and start utilizing that downtime. All right, cell phones. So the cell phone valet, I think, has gone very well. I really appreciate all the students that are super reflective and honest and just hand over that cell phone or those AirPods um, as I am notified by your teachers. Um, remember, it's for the whole day, guys. I see a lot of you having your cell phones at lunch, and we really need to make sure that those are put away. Why, Miss Sarah? Why? It's lunchtime. I'm not in instruction. The reason why, guys, is that your brain deserves to be just with your friends, just uh, communicating and hanging out and enjoying some food and not worrying about what's going on in the cyber world. So make sure that those are staying in your locker. Be disciplined. Um, we'll want to start building some skill around maybe what it would look like um, down the road to let you guys have those at lunch. But right now we need to master what it takes to be able to be disciplined enough to keep them in our locker all day long. Um, as a reminder, if you get valeted each day, I do send an automatic call text and email to families. Um, Scott, sc scholars who hit their fifth ballet experience will start receiving a personal call from myself so that I can brainstorm with your families on other ways that we can support you guys. I have a handful of scholars who have advocated to possibly give me that phone first thing in the morning um, or maybe help remind them to put it in their locker. All kinds of options to make sure that we are staying within that um, accountability. All right, guys, wanted to remind you this week, we are going to have a fire drill to make sure that in January we can mark that off our list. Remember when you're hearing that alarm, you stop what you're doing, you find your level zero voice and you listen to your teacher for directions. You line up quietly and you carefully exit the building using the closest closest exit doors. Um, the, pro the reason why we really need to make sure that we are at level zero is because if it's a true emergency, we might need, be, need to be able to give you guys further directions um, and we need to have that level zero, okay? The level zero stays outside once you're outside and your teacher takes attendance. This is really important and make sure that we've received everyone outside and that there's nobody still left in the building. All right, guys, that's it for me. Be good people, do good things. Next up is Miss Leon to talk to you about cafe and um, overall lunch expectations. Thank you, Miss Sarah, for all those important reminders. Hello, good morning, everyone, or afternoon for some of you. This is Miss Leon, and today I want to go over our Bear Valley Cafe expectations and our commitments. I'll go over the Yeti Roar and the commitments that we made at the beginning of the year. I want to begin with breakfast. And so what we wanna make sure that we remember for those of you that are coming in for breakfast, the doors open at 7.30 in the morning and they close at 7.50 in the morning, which means that if you get here at 7.51, you will have to go to your grade level doors, whichever ones you typically go through. If you are coming to breakfast at 7.30, make sure you enter through the cafeteria doors only. You will not be let in through any other doors. 
the reminders about lunch. Make sure that when you are ready to go to lunch, after you go to your locker, you walk along Mountainside. That is the one that is nearest to the gym. Stay in line and grab your lunch if that is what you are choosing to do. If you are eating lunch, you're gonna head in, uh, into the cafeteria and make sure that you are seated. I'll go over a little bit more about safety. If you are choosing to not eat, you should go automatically outside. Now, if you are eating, you wanna make sure that you are only eating and seated for less than 15 minutes. It's all about safety. After that, you will be expected to go outside. Now, due to weather, we may change that a little bit, but we'll give you more information if it is indoor weather. So I spoke a little bit about safety. And so let's discuss what that means. Whether you're in, in the morning or whether you are in for lunch, here's some three very important things that you have to remember. One, you wanna make sure that you are seated so we can see you. Two, table voices, level one, so we can hear you. Three, mask up when you are not eating so we can protect everyone. This is all about safety. We have to make sure that we all commit to these safety cafe expectations. Let me review them. You are seated where we can see you, table voices of one so we can hear everyone and you mask up when you are not eating so we can protect everyone. Speaking of the expectations that we have, here is our Yeti Roar uh, commitment. I'm going to go back one as I went a little too fast. Maybe not, I'm gonna keep going. Our Yeti Roar, I wanna go over our Yeti Roar, R. R stands for relationships, building trust and mutual respect. That means whether it's peer, adult, adult to adult, adult to student, we all believe that relationships, trust and mutual respect are very important. We also commit to our Yeti Roar and O stands for our community is safe. And so we want everyone to be able to ensure that we are all safe. You just heard the three safety uh, Yeti cafe expectations. The A stands for being anti-racist racist and inclusive. We want to make sure that everyone is accepted here. The R stands for responsibility. We want to make sure that we do all our part in building community. And with that in mind, going over our expectations in the cafeteria, I want you to just take a moment, teachers, you can pause and make sure that you discuss our cafeteria commitments. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. I hope uh, to see everyone following our Yeti Roar expectations and our commitments, specifically our safety ones. Have an amazing day. Adios.